The, the challenge is in the planning of the towns or the cities because many of them, they're not planned to be multi-million people, megalopolis towns, they're planned to be something one-tenth of what the, what the populations are. So the infrastructure, for example, in, in many cities, it's lagging behind. Uh, the real estate stock quite often as well is, is lagging behind, either, either in quality or in quantity, quite often both. So I think that's one of the challenge. Uh, the opportunity, obviously, in Africa, it's, it's very hard to say what it is because any corner you turn, uh, it's, it's everywhere. Um, it's, it's everywhere. So in terms of real estate now, currently, the best opportunity is in construction finance, clearly, because the stock is not there. Uh, and because in investments, when it comes to capital or any good, um, the, the case is the same, which means supply and demand uh, determine the pricing. And the supply and demand, because the capital is scarce, is determining the pricing today and hence the returns are very attractive in, in construction finance today. Previously you had all of 80% um, of many countries producing 20% of the GDP by, by the fact that they were in subsistence farming or something else that was low, uh, low GDP accredited sectors. Now, they're moving into towns, so the Africa's growing cities, hence, hence the theme. Now they're moving uh, into a paying, paying jobs. Um, they will need, uh, they will work in a factory building. Their employer will have an office building. They will live in a residential building. Their kids will go to school in school building and so forth. So the impact for the real estate sector is, is very big. And for institutional investor, um, it's important because in emerging markets you always start the investment from the main cities and then trickling from there on to, to the regional capital, so I think it's the key. If I speak of Kenyans, they're very tech savvy, they're, they're starting to be very quality conscious. So today, for example, for us, what we focus on when we build, whether it's residential or commercial or office, it's quality buildings. People want to work in a quality setting, just like here in Norway or in Finland or UK, wherever. And people want to live in a quality building that provides quality amenities in, in the same fashion that any, any emerging market would. So I think the focus in buildings um, and in, in the built environment in general is, is quality. I was quite impressed of the way that the, the whole conference was organized. It was very, very diligently organized and put together. I was very impressed by the, the quality of, of the speakers. Uh, and as well as the, the delegates themselves. The conference is not only for the politicians or the, the public sector, but it's, it's a good mix of public-private, so it really um, allows the kind of interaction that, uh, that um, you know, fostering African investment today needs. So when you are an investor that is thinking of going to Africa or any other emerging market, one has to be sure that you do your homework. Um, you cannot be a fly-in, fly-out investor, so you have to be present. Uh, that's the only way of tackle the problem of transparency, is actually knowing what's going on. But the, I think the biggest hurdle for investors who are thinking of going to Africa but haven't done so yet is the fact that the perceived risk and the actual risk in investing in Africa is, is there's a big, big uh, negative perception gap in between. And that is because there's not enough information on the markets themselves. And for closing this negative perception gap, a conference such as this is, is, is one of the best forums um, beyond the fact that you should, as an as a investor considering Africa, you should come over. Leader, our minds are awakening. Thought leader, our worlds are waiting. Thought leader, a vision for tomorrow. Built on the dreams of today.